And yes, there were some voices of dissent, but they did not dissent over theory concerning succession to leadership, not at all. They were dissenting over another issue, unrelated, unrelated to the theory of succession to leadership in Islam. And eventually, the entire Ummah submitted to him. And then there was schism, <laughs> schism, which led to civil war. And then Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu was killed. Like Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And then the Ummah in its wisdom chose his son, Sayyidina Imam Hassan radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Not because of his family, no, if he was appointed as Khalifa because of his family, well, Abu Bakr Siddiq was not family, and Omar Farooq was not family, and Uthman Ghani was not family. So if he was chosen as Khalifa, it had nothing to do with family. That theory cannot hold. But he in his wisdom, because of the civil war which just took place, in his wisdom, and may Allah bless him for the wise decision that he took, to preserve the unity of the Ummah, he chose to step down in favor of Amir Ma'awiyah. That was a wise decision. It preserved the unity of the Ummah for another 28 years. But it was when Amir Ma'awiyah attempted to institute something which would have been a corruption of the true religion in enforcing the bay'ah in favor of his son Yazid. That the grandson of Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam raised the standard of dissent. Sayyidina Imam Hussein radiallahu ta'ala who was a lion of a man a lion of a man and with great courage and matchless integrity he stood up he stood up against the corruption of the true religion and he stood up against tyranny and oppression and there's one from his family who is coming to complete the unfinished business that he was attending to. Eventually, the forces of tyranny and oppression, the forces of corruption of the true faith surrounded him in Karbala. He didn't give up. He didn't compromise. He fought to the end, and all those who were with him fought to the end. And all became shuhada. We say tonight, and no one is in this gathering will dissent. And none who listen to this lecture in other lands will ever dissent. The Nabi Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam must be proud of his grandson. And that Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha must be proud of her grandson. 
and that Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu must be proud of his son what more do you want and that Fatima to Zahra radiallahu ta'ala anha the daughter of the Prophet and the mother of Imam Hussein must be proud of her son and this Ummah for 1400 years now as we look back at that moment when he stood up to preserve the pure religion from corruption when he stood up against tyranny and oppression this Ummah has been proud of him for 1400 years now but there is unfinished business on that battlefield of Karbala for those who bring monarchy bring family rule and bring something called a crown prince there is some unfinished business on the battlefield of Karbala and when Imam al-Mahdi when Imam al-Mahdi comes he's gonna finish what was unfinished in Karbala to bring back the true faith and to sweep into the garbage bin monarchy and family rule that the Ottomans brought 